Good morning everybody. Welcome to another PSD to CSS online video tutorial. My name is Sean and today we're going to have the first uh, of a series of uh, uh, video tutorials uh, that cover our new Drupal integration feature. Now you can take a Photoshop file, design a, a Drupal theme in Photoshop, uh, name a couple of layers right, and up, uh, upload it to PSD to CSS online and download a complete and functional working Drupal theme that you just uh, copy over, copy into your Drupal installation, and it works. Uh, currently, it's only been t it's brand new, and it's kind of in pre-release beta light stage, version 0.1, uh, meaning that it's going to change. Don't uh, don't uh, don't make any really complicated or final designs and use it uh, because it will change as a function of. Um, feedback. I'd like uh, anybody who uses Drupal more than I do to give me some feedback about uh, what's good about it, what's bad about it, what it should do, what it shouldn't do, etc. So, uh, but it's really pretty straightforward so far. Let me show you how it works. So here we have Photoshop uh, and we've got a very simple uh, Drupal theme here. It's my online Drupal test. Uh, as with anything in PSD to CSS Online, the trick is how you name your layers. So what we're going to do is, uh, what Drupal does is it is it generates some uh, PHP that uh, that is the content. There's a couple of different places, a number of different places on your page that content gets filled in. Um, a left column, a right column, uh, the center main content area. Uh, there's two, uh, two sets of links uh, or menus. Um, there's some more that Drupal supplies by default. This is, this is a, a Drupal template based on the PHP template uh, engine. Uh, for the for the Drupal developers that know what that is, um, so uh, so right now we've I've only implemented five of them, and uh, later we'll implement custom ones, so you can make uh, any area you want, and it'll generate the code to tell Drupal that that's a viable area. Uh, but for the time being, we'll look real briefly here at uh, the naming convention. Uh, the naming convention is underscore Drupal. What's a little different than most other PSD to CSS online features is the rest of the naming convention is the first part. Up until now, most most of the time we ignore that, and that's just for you. Uh, we use it for links, I guess. But uh, um, but what's important now is uh, is the different kinds of Drupal content and uh, where it's going to go. So here's a layer that's a primary links Drupal. That's this uh, this part right up here. It's going to be where our, our menus go. Oops. Uh, here's left underscore Drupal, that will be the left column. Here's content underscore Drupal, that's what you have to name the uh, the area that the main content will go to. If I had a, a right column, that would be have to be called right underscore Drupal. So, so now it's important what the first part is too. We've got primary links Drupal, there's secondary links Drupal, uh, that's the secondary menu that Drupal provides by default. Uh, left Drupal, and content Drupal, and a right Drupal. Other than that, it's it's uh, everything else is exactly the same as any other PSD to CSS online theme. So, oops, let's uh, let's go ahead and upload this. This is called Drupal Theme PSD. We will upload it. Let's get rid of this thing. Uh, one one other difference about how the conversion happens when you're done with a regular web page, uh, the conversion on a regular web page, you get a nice preview link. Uh, but for Drupal uh, conversions. Uh, that, that's not as straightforward. A Drupal theme page is, uh, it's PHP, it's got a whole bunch of PHP in it, it's, it's got some, there's a, some folder hierarchy that's required to keep Drupal happy. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff, and so instead of a preview link, we get this little message. Drupal themes are not able to be previewed directly. So, uh, so all we can do is download the zip file. And there it is. It gives us a, a, a folder hierarchy that's, that Drupal likes. You don't really have to worry about what's in there yet, or at all, if you don't want to. Um, so what we do now is, you okay? So another prerequisite to using the Drupal feature, of course, is having a Drupal installed somewhere. Um, that's kind of beyond the scope of this video, uh, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. Drupal is very, very easy to install. Uh, follow the instructions. Lots of ISPs give you a give you a script to install it for you. you just click a button, and it installs Drupal for you. It's awesome. Um, so uh, what you need to do though is we're going to FTP this this theme up into our Drupal install. So you need to know how to FTP into your ISP account, and, you know, into your account where your Drupal thing is, and uh, and how to how use FTP. So here's this is a uh, FileZilla. This is my favorite uh, FTP program, and I'm already uh, actually I'm not in the right place. Here we go. This is my this is my Drupal theme. You can see it's in. Uh, 
public HTML Drupal theme. That's uh, that's where it is on my particular ISP. Um, I can show you what it looks like already. It's it's pretty much empty right now. If you've used Drupal before, you know this is the standard theme that comes with it. Um, I've got a couple of stories and things I've already put in there, a welcome page and whatnot. But uh, um, you know this is the theme. You've got administration. Look at all the administration stuff you can do in Drupal. This is right out of the box. I haven't. I don't think I've added any modules. Not many, at least. Um, but uh, what we're going oh, and let's take a look and see what themes are available. And so it's got all the default themes available, and that and that's it. So what we're going to do is we use FTP to take this themes folder, drop it into our Drupal install. It will not overwrite any of the themes already in Drupal. It'll just add our new one to it. It'll call it PSD to CSS. So there we go. That that happened. Now, if we ask uh, Drupal to tell us what themes are available. Sure enough, we have one called PSD to CSS Online. Uh, currently, the thumbnail is my website. I'm going to fix that so that it's, uh, the thumbnail reflects your site. Uh, but what we need to do then is enable and make default our new PSD to CSS Online theme. I'll do that. Save configuration. And voila. Here is my new PSD to CSS Online Drupal theme. Oh yeah, I do have a couple things installed. I got poll and stuff like that. But uh, I can go back to home here and and uh, sure enough, there we go. Uh, you can see uh, all the standard Drupal stuff here. I log back out. Here's my user login. I've got who's who's online. I guess I do have a couple modules on. I've got some uh, some stories in there. I've got uh, some uh, primary links in there. We can go over to the forums and check those out. There's nothing in the forums yet. I guess I left one. We got a poll about which CMS to make next. So, so that's that. That was really quick and easy. Um, obviously, the fonts are what Drupal wants by default, and some of the colors. These pink links are actually uh, something PSD to CSS Online makes by default. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, customize some of this. Um, the uh, customization of regular web pages on PSD to CSS Online is pretty straightforward because you just draw it in Photoshop and I never had to have a video or talk about uh, making a, uh, customizing um, CSS, actual CSS like a like you know like seasoned CSS programmers do um, but I will show you how to use Firebug and uh, that which is a plugin to Firefox and uh, and it's really pretty straightforward to go ahead and change some of those fonts, change their colors, change their sizes, um, change the layouts of some of the text. It's basically about uh, customizing Drupal. Um, I'll give you a quick my next video. I'll give you a quick uh, uh, little tutorial about that. Um, but of course, there is tons of stuff on the internet about how to customize your Drupal install. So uh, so here you go. There you go. That's that's our new. Uh, that was it. I made a Drupal theme that works in, uh, I don't know, what's that been, about five minutes. So uh, have fun with that, and uh, thanks.